Why is business travel so important? Business travel is incredibly important. I mean, I, I travel a lot. You know, I, I, I literally travel so much. Okay, I was in Miami over the weekend. Friday, I'm going to Portugal. I come back from Portugal for one day. I'm going to Dallas. I flee from Dallas. I go to Utah. Then I come back to Dallas. Okay, here is why I love business travel. So first things first, if you guys have an LLC that's disregarded, you want to have or establish a board of advisors. Okay, you want to establish a board of advisors. If you're an S-Corp, you should have a board of directors. Okay, and the reason why these this, this board is so important is because this board gives you the opportunity to unlock a lot of tax deductions. Okay, so I have my significant other as a board member of Magnolia. Okay, now a board member does not mean that she's in the business, right? She's not an employee of the business. She has no ownership of the business, but she's a board member. She's somebody that I go to where I can talk about business and she gives me advice. She consults me and the company on how we can grow and how we can scale. So guess what? When I travel with my significant other, my significant other is a board member. I can now write her expenses off as well. So how do we do this? We simply just have a board meeting. That's it. We have a board meeting. In that board meeting, we record meeting minutes. And then we appoint Carly. We appoint Carly as a board member. And then Carly accepts her position in that board meeting. And we sign and we date it. Done. And we put it in the records. So she's now a board member in my business. So when we travel and we go have a board meeting in Miami and we go talk about business, ways for us to get into new markets, ways for us to capture more leads, ways for us to do the first step in the system, which is create income, now I unlock a ton of tax deductions. Now, what do they say? They say, hey, you can travel, okay? But what is the, the, the specific use case of that travel, okay? Well, if I go have a board meeting, all I have to do is work four hours a day on a working day. Four hours a day on a working day. So if I travel to Miami on a Thursday, Everything in route to Miami is tax deductible, okay? When I get there on Friday, I just work four hours and I have a board meeting. I take meeting minutes, okay? And I send some emails and I have a Google calendar to support what I'm doing. And I jot down what time we started, what time we ended, and who was all there. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't have to do anything. It's, a, it's not a working day. It's the weekend. So on, on Saturday and Sunday, when we go to 11, when we go to <laughs> live, Right. Or oh, when we go to certain places, now we're we're having team, we're building team camaraderie. Okay. Because we're out there and we're learning more about each other and we're building a team. And on Monday, I work another four hours and I fly out on Tuesday. My my whole weekend was tax deductible. So I love business traveling. I always recommend that you guys should travel at least once a quarter. Okay. You should travel at least once a quarter. And the reason why a lot of business owners have big or major or significant or huge, massive tax bills is because they hold on to the money too much, okay? They hold on to the money. Get rid of the money, right? If you get rid of the money and you enjoy some of it, now we can start figuring out how we can help you create a tax-free lifestyle in the process.